Here's one I used to wear for job interviews. Ah, uh, yeah. Now this is going to help put people into perspective. Now, now this is going to help put me in perspective. I've been doing really good all week, and I've been feeling good about myself. Like you know, working hard. But then, when I see something like this, I realize this week may have gone well, but I got a lot more work to do. Oh man. This feels pretty darn good, but now is not the time to get cocky. <clears throat> Hi, my name is Keith, and welcome to week 16 of my weekly fitness vlog, Up the Peak. Why Up the Peak? Because at some point in my future, I hope to hike to the top of Long's Peak in Rocky Mountain National Park. But until I do, I still have a lot more work to do, but this week was definitely a victory. I have officially hit the 100 pound milestone in my fitness journey. And like I said, that does feel good, but this is not the time to get cocky. I have not even hit the halfway point of this fitness journey yet. That will hopefully come in the next two weeks. I'm going to have to reach a weight loss total of 103.75 before I'm at the halfway point. And then I have to cross the 300 barrier. I was below 300 in 2016, but then 2017 I fell into a massive depression and I gained a shitload of weight back. So this is me working my ass off to get the weight down again. So if you are new to the channel, thank you for subscribing, thank you for watching. Please leave a comment and let's talk. I had a little fun this week. Uh, famous YouTuber that goes by Obese to Beast. I follow him on Twitter. I also follow him on Facebook. Chances are you know exactly who he is. He is one of the more famous people on YouTube that has gone through a physical transformation over the last six years. Um, on Friday, the day I did my weigh-in, he had sent out a tweet that was a before and after picture that showed him at the beginning of his fitness journey to where he is now, and with a caption that said, a lot can change in six years. I could not resist having come back from the doctor's office with the weigh-in, so I replied with, a lot can change in a few months, too. I have been trying to get his attention for some time with some tweets. He gets a lot of messages from people, so I'm sure he didn't see them. But he was very gracious enough to retweet my tweet with my 100 pound milestone. And as a result, I got more likes than any tweet that I've ever had before. So, uh, Mr. Beast, sir, thank you. Really cool of you, man. This week, I met with Stacy Stevens of the Empowered by Fitness gym. Now, last week, I had mentioned I found a painted rock that said Empowered by Fitness, and at the time I didn't know what it was. It turned out it was good for a free 30-day trial membership to this young woman's gym that she opened. Now, the main facility is still under construction right now, but she still runs classes out of it, yoga classes, outdoor classes, fitness classes. So I went up on Monday to check things out. She seems really cool. She showed me the obstacle course. She showed me where they do the, the yoga. It's all outdoors right now. 
I love the outdoors. The whole foundation of my fitness journey has been outdoors. So this is right up my alley. Uh, they're going to start doing hiking once a week. So I'm going to start taking part of their hikes, which would help me get ready for Long's Peak. Uh, it was just, you know, a overall very pleasant experience. She's a very remarkable young woman. She could do amazing things with her yoga. And she's also someone that went on a fitness journey. After her second child, she was over 200 pounds and then she had lost 85 pounds. So she's no stranger to uh, fitness. I feel like I'm in the right hands when I'm working with her. But I'm not going to start officially until June 1st. This gives me a chance to try to cross that 300 pound milestone on my own. So far this whole journey has just been walking, light jogging, and a very healthy diet. It's gone very well for me and for that I am very grateful. When I created this vlog, I had no idea if I was going to be able to pull this off. When I posted Day Zero back in January, I was making a lot of assumptions. And by posting it, I also gave a little boost to my motivation to do this. I knew I had to change something because the route I was going, I could be dead in a few years. And if I didn't do something when I did, I might not have ever got around to it. And it's important to remember why you do what you do, if you do want to lose weight. In the past, when I had lost the weight that I did, it was always for the wrong reasons, for the wrong person. And what's different this time is this time it truly is for me. When I had lost the weight in 2014, the year I hit the max weight of 464, it was to impress somebody, to show somebody that I could do it. And I did really well with it. And then 2014 ended and so did my relationship with that person. And I was a little devastated about that, so I put a little bit of the weight back on. But then I thought, well, if I can lose a large amount of weight, maybe I can really show this person that I can be who they want me to be. That wasn't the right motivation. I had lost another 80 pounds, and I felt really good about it. But it was never about the weight in the first place. And this person had moved on. And I was devastated, so I put some of the weight back on. And then when I moved to Atlanta, it was my friend that got me motivated. And even still, at that point, in the back of my mind, I thought, maybe I could win this person over. This person that's been out of my life now for, like, so long. And when I realized it truly was over, I kind of lost interest in it. You know, and then, then the vitamin D deficiency kicked in. And I wasn't getting treated for the testosterone. I was still taking the thyroid medicine, sure. But once that depression spiraled out of control, well, that led me to day zero. And if you haven't seen day zero, if you watch any other video that I've done, watch day zero. Watch how low I was at that point. And if you are someone that's struggling, trying to find that motivation, then maybe my story might help you give, you give you the little push that you might need. Because if I can come back from this, then maybe you can too. But only do it for yourself because you want to. Don't do it to impress somebody. Don't do it to show off. Don't, don't, do, it, don't do it just to look better. Do it to feel better. You know, one of the amazing perks and advantages of this fitness journey of mine is I am so much more active than I have been in a long time. When I lost the weight in 2016, it was only about 60 pounds or so. You know, uh, in, in 2014, it was close to, to 40. In uh, 2015, it was close to 80. And those three, you know, weight fluctuations is why I lost 170 pounds. But then I gained 115 back. Right now, this fitness journey that I am on, I have lost more weight than I ever have at one time. And I'm doing it for me. It's the only person to do it for. Do it for yourself because you want to. I'm very grateful for this. Every time I take a walk, whether it's raining or cold or a beautiful day, I am grateful that I'm out there and I'm working and I'm exercising and I have more energy and I can do more things. This isn't just 
about looking better. It is about feeling better. We are currently up to 103 subscribers. So I want to thank the new subscribers that came on board this last week. I really appreciate it. I pushed a little bit harder on Facebook this week. And thanks to the Beast retweeting my tweet, I picked up a couple more from that. So if you are new to the channel, thank you for joining us. If you're one of my old school subscribers, thanks for being here. And if you're one of the lucky few that have made it to this part of the video, hey, I salute you because according to the analytics, because according to the analysis of the channel and the videos, most people don't make it this far. So if you actually made it this far, let me know in the comments you made it to the end. And I thank you. <laughs> That's going to wrap things up this week. I'll be back here next week with another update. I'll have some more uh, updates with the exercise. I'll have more updates with the diet. Uh, until then, have a fantastic week and thank you for watching.